my dear children welcome back to my channel happy learning mathematics so today we will be learning the 24th lesson which is construction of rectilinear plane figures so under this lesson we will be covering three main topics which are construction uh, of a straight line segment and then constructing an equilateral triangle and at last you will learn to construct a regular hexagon so it will be learned in two methods so you can follow a method uh, which you like unless they have asked you uh, particularly to do in a method so let's go into our lesson topic of this lesson is going to be constructing a straight line segment okay so you know a straight line can be named with any two alphabet capital letters uh, so here I will be drawing a straight line AB measuring the length as 6 centimeters. So now the, in grade 7 only you actually might want to use this instrument which is called, known as a compass in a lesson. So we are going to use a compass and a ruler to draw this straight line. Okay. So let's look at the way to do that. Now first thing you need to do here is draw a random straight line like this without measuring you must draw a straight line first. After that we are going to measure 6 cm length from a compass and the rule. So place your pointed uh, part of your compass on 0 level and measure 6 centimeters with the pencil as you can see here I am measuring it the 6 centimeter length now now let's place this pointed area part of the compass on any part of this straight line and draw an arc on this straight line this is known as an arc now again take the point part of the compass and place it on top of the intersecting points of this arc and the straight line. So it is going to be like this and again draw another arc from there. So now this will be 6 centimeter in its length. Do you understand? So always please mark the name of the line and the length of the line and use pencil always because you know why let's say you have made a mistake if you have named something with the pen you cannot erase it again am i right so you might have to draw it again so always use a pencil to do the lesson construction okay so you will be able to erase it and draw if you have made a mistake here Okay, so this is how we draw a straight line here. So in order to give you another example, I am going to draw another straight line. Okay, x, y, 4.5 centimeters. So let's see how to draw this. First, what do we need to do? We need to draw a random line like this. Right? Then what do we have to do? Then only we need to measure 4.5 centimeters. So I am going to keep the point part of the compass in 0 level and I am going to adjust it to 4.5. 4.5 is here in between the middle of 4 and 5 centimeters. Now I have measured it. Now you have to simply keep it on top of the line and place an arc. Again keep it on the intersecting point again place an arc so next we have to name the line x y and mark its length in here so that's all that's how you draw a straight line segment we will be learning here is to construct an equilateral triangle so what is an equilateral triangle so equilateral triangle is all three sides are same in its length. Am I right? So let's 
draw an equilateral triangle of triangle A, B, C. You know the triangle must be named with three capital letters. Am I right? So, as its side length. 4 centimeters ok so each side must contain 4 centimeters as its length so what do we do first so let's draw a straight line segment of 4 centimeters ok first so what do we do we draw a random line first and then we need to measure 4 centimeters with the ruler and the compass so here is your zero level and here is your 4 centimeters. I have measured it. Now place it on the line and arc. Then again place it on the intersecting point and then another arc. So this is a 4 centimeter line which is going to be one side of the triangle. After that, it's very simple. Now this is 4 centimeters still. So you are going to place it on one point and place an arc like this okay and then again place it on top of the other point actually they are the vertex of the triangle okay so place it on the other point and draw another arc on top of it so this is going to be your third vertex point now I am going to join these two points together right right now again these two points right now our three sides are going to be 4 centimeters and I am going to name it as A B so you can order uh, name them in any order it doesn't matter you can put b c or a but wherever you like you can name them so i'm going to name it in this way so this is the triangle a b c it's an equilateral triangle with four centimeter uh, centimeters as its size okay so i'll show another example to draw an equilateral triangle okay so here the equal to triangle x y z with its side length as 6 centimeters so what do we do first we have to draw one side of the triangle first so you draw a random line like this and we are going to measure 6 centimeter from that line so what do we do we have to measure 6 centimeters from the compass then draw the straight line right now this is your 6 centimeter line segment after that without changing the uh, width of this compass we are going to place an arc from this side of the point and then from this side of the point after that what did we do we need to join these two points together and these two points together so this is going to be your triangle x y z with its side length as 6 centimeters each so now i hope you did understand how to draw an equilateral triangle so it's very easy isn't it now topic is going to be constructing a regular hexagon so first what is a hexagon so hexagon is a plane figure where it has six sides to it you know triangle has three sides right quadrilateral has four sides and hexagon is a plane figure which has six sides can you see one two three four five six so it is an hexagon and also regular hexagon means all six sides are going to be same in its length so this is a regular hexagon so now we are going to look at the way of uh, drawing this regular hexagon so there are actually two methods to draw a regular hexagon 
first method is through a circle that means we are going to draw a circle and then make a regular hexagon by it and the second method is by drawing an equilateral triangle so now you already know how to draw an equilateral triangle so we are going to make an regular hexagon by using this uh, equilateral triangle so now let's look at the first method for the first method we are going to draw a regular hexagon through the means of a circle so the hexagon has to be 3 cm side length that means each side should measure as 3 cm ok so for that what I need to do here is it should measure 3 cm with the compass first so now you know how to measure 3 cm am I right so place it on 0 and the other pencil point to the 3 cm mark after that draw a circle so it's going to be a 3 cm radius circle am I right so here I am drawing a circle after I measured 3 centimeters. After this step, it is going to be very easy. Now, all you need to do here is place this point anywhere on the circle and draw an arc. Can you see? Now, again, place it on the intersecting point of this arc and the circle. Again, draw an arc. Okay? Now repeat that until you reach the starting point. Okay. So again, now from here another arc. Now again from here another arc. Now at last from here this is our starting point. Do you understand now? So now we do have 6 marks on the circle. Now all we need to do here is join each intersecting points in order. Okay, That means these two should be joined first, then these two likewise it should be joined. Now we have got a regular hexagon with its side length as 3 cm. Here I will measure and show you as you can see this is a 3 cm side length hexagon, regular hexagon. So this is the first method of drawing a regular hexagon by drawing a circle. Now let us look at the second method of it. So now we are going to look at the second method which is to draw a regular hexagon by drawing equilateral triangles. So it is going to be 4 cm as its side length. Okay? So look at that method now. So I am going to draw this regular hexagon by starting it off with a equilateral triangle. So, let us draw an equilateral triangle with uh, side length as 4 centimeters first. Okay. So, what you need to do here is first draw a random line and then let us measure 4 centimeters with the ruler. After that, what did we do? We drew the line segment one side of the triangle then you simply place two arcs from each point am I right after this we should join these two points together ok so now we do have an equilateral triangle with 4 centimeters as its side now what should you do here is you should take one of its side and 
draw another equal little triangle from here do you understand like this so i'll show you that so i didn't change the width of this compass so it's going to be 4 centimeters so again from here you should place two arcs from each point do you understand now you have a point there intersecting point now i'm going to join this point with the, this one and again this and this together do you understand now what happens next now these two triangles have been drawn now we are going to draw another equilateral triangle from its base as this okay from by taking this base we are going to draw another equilateral triangle so I am going to show you that. So this is your point. We need two arcs drawn from each two points of the base. Again, joining these two points together. You understand? Can you see a uh, hexagon is taking its shape? Okay. So next part, we have to draw an equilateral triangle again uh, by taking this as its base. Okay, so let's draw it now from here an arc and here another arc. Okay, so what now I'm going to join these two points. Okay, right now again we are going to take this one as its base and place two arcs from each point now let's join these two points so that's all so we had to draw how many triangles actually one two three four five so we have to draw five equilateral triangles so at last we will join these two the starting and ending points now, now can you see a regular hexagon in here okay so the side length is going to be 4 centimeters okay this is going to be 4 centimeters all sides are equal in its length so that's all children this is what we have in this lesson it's going to be an interesting lesson for you all so you can try it out and see and ask your doubts in the comment section see you in the next video have a nice day bye